So as an animal scientist and your poultry success partner, I know what it means to give recommendations to people and say, okay, use this for your chickens, use this for your chicken, and it doesn't work, you know? That's your reputation on the line. So when I wanted to start organic poultry farming, I had to do my research and trust me, there were only few properly documented findings. So I thought to myself, what can I do to solve this? And that's when I came about the idea of writing some books to actually help farmers solve this problem. I found that a lot of people also wanted to try out organic poultry farming. They wanted to use herbs and, and spices to solve problems, to treat their chickens. So I decided to start documenting. And this is not actually the first book. This is like the revised version of the first book, Your Complete Guide to Organic Poultry Farming. This is the author's copy that I got from Amazon. I actually published the book on Amazon, so I'm able to get the author's copy. I don't sell the hard copy here in Nigeria. I only sell the soft copy and trust me, this book has sold over a thousand copies of this book because a lot of people actually have challenges and they want to solve those problems with their chickens. And in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the things that you can use to treat your chickens, even right from this book, right from the pages of this book. But trust me, I will not be able to go through all that is written in this book. And apart from this, I've also written another book, which is even more voluminous. It's over 200 pages that talks about how to raise broilers from day to maturity, everything from getting the house prepared to selling the broilers, and then how to treat them organically. There are several other discoveries that I made even after producing this book that I had to write into the other book. So the complete package is actually to get the two. But anyone you can start with, even this has been given excellent results. It has been given excellent results to everyone who has it. So if you are watching from other countries other than Nigeria and you would like to purchase your copy from Amazon, you can get the soft copy, which is the Kindle version. You can also get the ad copy from Amazon. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description down below. So it's your complete guide to organic poultry farming. You can see my picture as the author. But hey, listen to me. If you want to practice organic poultry farming, you want to do it right. There are studies that show certain inclusion levels of herbs that if you go beyond that level you might be arming your chickens and that's that is one of the reasons why it is good to document here's when i was small my mom was raising chickens and sometimes we feed them with pepper and all those things but if you don't know the dosage of certain things and you give your chickens you might come back and meet them dead or you might jeopardize their productivity so you want to ensure that you follow guides like this that will tell you okay it's not just about using garlic it's not just about using this it's not just about using that but you have to know the quantity that you have to apply to the water or the feed of your chickens so one very important component of organic poultry farming that i want to share with you today is the garlic Yes, I actually wrote some posts on my blog about garlic. I think I have two or three posts about garlic that talks about the many, the several benefits of garlic. And this is massive, it's massive. Trust me, it is massive. And I'm going to be talking about how to use this even for chronic respiratory disease, for viral disease prevention, and for a lot of things, my friend, for a lot of things, protozoan diseases, for a lot of things. So before I show you the process to prevent or cure CRD, chronic respiratory disease, mycoplasmosis, I'm going to tell you some of the benefits of garlic. So come with me. So I'll be educating you directly from my blog post on guidefreak.com. It's tagged the benefits of garlic in broilers. Actually, it's not just for broilers, but then I think I was just focusing on broilers in that post. Okay, so you have the antiviral benefits, you have the antibacterial properties, you have the antimicrobial, you have the antiprotozoal, you have the antifungal, and also growth promoting property of garlic. Have you heard that before? Yes, garlic is also able to help your broilers grow faster if you use it well, if you use it appropriately. 
So a lot of us already know that garlic is actually effective against microbes, including bacteria. But then it will, it will surprise you to discover that it also that it's also effective in preventing viral diseases. Yes, I'll prove that to you. So in this blog post talking about the antiviral benefits of garlic in broilers, I wrote, surprisingly, garlic might have some effects against viruses too. Although not much has been done to conclude that garlic can be used to treat viral diseases, allicin and derivatives are found to be active against viruses, even if we can't be sure of exactly how garlic can treat viral diseases, at least we can trust it in prevention. Allicin is a compound found in garlic and research there are certain studies that show that it is effective against viral diseases. So, you know, you don't have anything to lose. If you have garlic and you are just using it for prevention, you know, you're just keeping your chickens safe. So it's highly important. Soon I'll be making another video on the treatment of coccidiosis and I will show you how garlic is used as a primer. It is used to, to clear the way before you now start applying those drugs that actually attack coccidiosis. So let's quickly go to the freebie that I have for you today. So I'm going to be sharing with you right from this book what you can use to treat chronic respiratory disease, which is very, very common in broiler farming. So here you just need three um, organic components. You just need your garlic, which is what I have here. And you need your ginger and you need your cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper. So all you need to do is grind this, you can grind all together, or preferably you can get 350 grams of garlic and ginger, then you blend in 500 ml of water, that is half a liter. So after doing that, when you want to administer it's your bed. For an aggressive treatment, you can administer up to 20 mils per liter of water. And for a general treatment, you can administer 20 mils to every three to four liters of water. And then after doing that for the garlic and ginger, you add two teaspoons of cayenne pepper to that three liters of water. And that will take care of CRD within three to five days. Yes, you will, all those signs of cough and all that will start to subside. And that is one thing that you can do. This this book also has treatment for foul pox, coryza, worms, prolapse, ty foul typhoid, salmonella, E. coli, diarrhea, coccidiosis, even how to manage marrow disease virus, gumboro, Newcastle, lots and lots and lots of it, lots and lots and lots of it. So, uh, it also teaches how to make organic preparations, how to make tagiri extract, that's the Christmas melon, how to prepare it, and um, how to do what again, how to make your lactobacillus, your probiotic, and um, it also has a chapter you can follow on a daily basis to manage your broiler farm. And so, so, so much, so much to gain from this. One thing that you want to have when you start to use organic medications is your digital skill. As a matter of fact, you don't even need it just for organic medications. You also need it when you're using your anti uh, your antibiotics and all that. Uh, this one now have gotten it. I got I think I got it from Amazon to several years ago, about seven or six years ago, and it still should still work perfectly. I think I saved the battery. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see right away. Okay. All right, it's still working. So, but as a skill, you have to place it on the on the platform, on the flat pat platform for it to work well. So that's that for today. 
in subsequent videos i'm going to be sharing with you lots and lots of treatment procedures i will be showing you all the stages all the stages of preparation of the herbs and all that so till we meet again peace